Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another Days of Our Lives reaction video. And before I start the video, just to let you know that my nose is still a little stuffy, stupid allergies. <laughs> so if I sound weird, that's the reason why. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, this week, I swear, I swear, Ron is testing me to the extreme with this shit. Like, seriously, Days is just really highly fucking pissing me the motherfucking off seriously okay first of all we didn't get no fill up this week but we unfortunately had to see brady and Chloe. <sighs> anyways i'm not even gonna talk about that shit that's just gonna piss me off even more than i'm already pissed off about and of course if you watch my videos you know and you you watch my videos and you watch days then you know why the fuck i am so highly pissed off oh all these months that Sin had been apart, Sierra has been thought to be dead. And then she was locked up all this time. And then Ben finds her, finally fucking Lee, and her motherfucking ass gonna have amnesia? Are you fucking serious with me? All of that shit they've been building up about how they had this special fucking connection they can talk to each other from miles away without a damn telephone and they can fucking see each other in dreams but her fucking ass is gonna get amnesia from some damn gas explosion are you motherfucking serious with me like oh my fucking god her fucking ass don't remember anything after her damn motorcycle accident like what the fuck who the fuck thought that this shit was a very good idea. This is the dumbest fucking shit. Like, seriously. I just don't fucking get it. Like, I get that couples can't be happy 24-7. But the fuck? Since their wedding shit's been going wrong. What happened at the wedding? They had a fucking explosion. Ben got kidnapped by Eve and drugged into trying to kill Sierra. So he was under mind control for a while. And then Sierra goes missing and thought to be dead. And then now this. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like putting the camera down. <clears throat> but seriously, I know I'm not the only one. This is so stupid. I thought all of this shit. It's just fucking, oh, Like, seriously, it's like Ron doesn't want any happy couples. Like, Eli, Alani, and you're like, Eli, Alani, John. Um, John and Marlena are like the only happy couples. I guess you could say Steve and Kayla too, but we don't get to see them. <laughs> and it's just like, oh my fucking. <sighs> oh, it's driving me crazy. So not only does Sierra not like Ben, no Ben. She was gonna like, was all scared for him. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're the next guy killer. Get away from me, get away from me. I'm like, really, bitch? When you were in the cabin with him, you weren't freaking out. She didn't freak out like that when they were in the cabin. She was a little put off, but this time she's in the hospital. Like, oh my God, get away from me. Yeah. The fuck? Over dramatic, dumbass shit. Oh my God, the damn soap. <sighs> and I'm not feeling good, and I'm over exhausting myself. But seriously, why the fuck? <sighs> damn nose. <sighs> Okay, I think I bitched enough. That's been, it's been four minutes almost. <laughs> but seriously. Um, and then we got to deal with another dumbass mask story. <sighs> Kristen somehow got a mask made of Sarah overnight. <laughs> or uh, I guess they said that she made it or something. I'm like, how the... Oh, that's weird. You seriously can't think about days. And she has like a little thing in there that make her change her voice and stuff. And she magically is able to get um Sarah's tattoo in the back of her neck. Uh, but this show is really funny. Before I go on Twitter, there's somebody <laughs> that says that. <laughs> oh my god, I should have I should have wrote down a tweet. But he was basically saying that um. Kristen was magically able to turn into Sarah, her voice, her hair, her boobs, even her vagina or something like that. And Ron, the head writer, he um 
retweeted and he was like, oh, you can't think about it. Or, I don't know, fuck it all up. <laughs> but you can't think too much into it or something like that. Or you're thinking too much in it. <laughs> I, I fucked it all up. Anyways, let's not mind that. But seriously, you can wear a mask, but I mean, like, you... You, it's, it's, you just seriously can't think too much about days because it just doesn't make any sense. My hair is a mess because it just doesn't make fucking sense. It's just stupid nonsense. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Anyways, this is nonsense. So, Kristen wanted to make, um, Xander break up with Sarah, so she met up with uh, Rex to try to get it on. But before they went upstairs, she um, sees um, Kristen called Xander to um, ask Susan, saying that she saw Sarah with um, Brady. Did I call him Brady before Rex? <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, she saw them, um, Sarah with Rex and they were going up to his room. And so, he, Xander busted in as they're about to get it on. And Xander was, uh, having a hard time to believe what Sarah was saying, but I guess he, I guess he believed her because he went back to the mansion all pissed off and stuff. And it's like, it's just, just seriously like seriously they just want to fuck with every couple on the show like I said there's only three like couples that are together that are like happy the rest of them are like one half is gone one half is dead <clears throat> one half doesn't want to be with the other half <clears throat> well I guess you could say Kate and Jake are Kate yeah Kate and Jake are happy but <clears throat> Oh, don't even get me started on that shit. Anyway, who the fuck I am? So, I was like, that's just fucked up. Like, I'm not a Zandy and um, Sarah fan, but that's fucked up to fuck up their relationship. And I heard that Lindsay, was a Godfrey, who plays Sarah, is leaving the show. So, it didn't say how long or what, but somebody said on, I don't know how true it is, on, um... Twitter that Brad Bell, who was in control of the CBS show, um, Bold and Beautiful, saying that he was going to reach out to her. Um, she used to play a character on the show, so I don't know. We shall see, but that's pretty messed up to mess up a popular couple for a couple that uh, setting up to help a couple. I don't know, it, helping a couple with helping Kristen stay with Brady. I don't know. It's all stupid to me. <laughs> Honestly. And to keep Kate and Jake together is stupid too. Especially when Jake is daydreaming. Well, he was actually, he was really dreaming. He was asleep. He was dreaming about Gabby in this sexy ass pink dress with the girls all hanging out. <laughs> And her shoes matched her dress, too. And she was, like, on top of him and stuff. <clears throat> he said her name. And Kate came in and was like, you said Gabby's name in your sleep. And I don't remember what else they talked about. I won't listen. But anyways, <laughs> on today's episode, Gabby moved back into the mansion. And Jake was, like, all in her room and shit. And <laughs> Gabby's like, I'm gonna go take a bath. And Jake went and leaves. So she dropped her. She took off her robe as Kate was walking in, and Jake was totally checking that out. That's really funny. <laughs> but Jake still wants Gabby. But Jake is, seriously, he's um, fucking dead to me after everything he's been saying to Gabby and stuff. And still wanting to be with Kate, bitch ass. But like, seriously, I want Stefan back. <laughs> Fuck Jake. They had to do a lot of work with Jake to make me want to root for his ass. Because right now, he ain't doing shit to make me want to root for him. He makes me want to slap the absolute shit out of him. 
of course and they still want to do Kate and Jake they brought Brandon back because of the chemistry between him and Camilla and they're wasting their I understand not to just throw them back together but this is like the slowest burn and the slowest history of slow burns anyways uh, one more thing before I go let's talk about Lumi Lucas and Sammy had scenes this week don't ask me what day it was but <laughs> Sammy told Lucas about um what happened that night um she went to um Charlie's place and he was already on the ground and she picked up the gun and shot him <laughs> but Charlie was already dead so she did I get that right? I don't know let me know in the comments <laughs> but she's like oh but you have to keep the secret you can't tell nobody I'm like but there's gun residue on her um on her clothes I'm like oh lordy but Lucas said that he will keep it quiet. <laughs> I hope we get to see more of Lumi because I want them together. Because I love how they were all calling her Sammy Brady. They didn't call her Sammy Dramera. So I'm like, hmm. Is that a, um, for, is it foreshadowing the future? Maybe? A little? I don't know. I would love for Lumi to get back together. They're one of my all-time favorites. And they have the best chemistry. And since they're both on at the same time and there's no EJ in sight, I think they should go for it. Anyways, that's my reaction for the week. Let me know in the comments what your reaction to this week's episodes. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye!